We are removing all four chain plates on this boat today so that we can bring them into a machine shop and have brand new ones made so that all of our standing rigging is going to be done. We can inspect the chain, you know, we can inspect the bulkheads where the chain plates are attached and make sure that everything is going to be sound so that we don't have a sudden dismasting in, dismasting? you know, dismasting is what is how, you, is how it's, I think it's, it's how it's spelled. And there's demasting and dismasting. I don't know. Mm. I think dismasting is when demasting is I think is what we did. This is this is my this is my interpretation. Okay, from what I've read, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong here. Demasting is when we purposefully, purposefully take the okay. mast down. Uh, dismasting is when it topples down, accidentally comes down, yeah. it topples down, you know, during a storm or during a race scenario. or something like that. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments uh, and let me know, you know, the actual the actual definitions of, of or and pro proper term, proper terms or pronunciations. I, I don't know, <laughs> but oh, well. We're gonna take the chain plates off. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> see where I am. You see where Andy is. And this is that. This is the stern of the boat. The chain plate is way up here. I think we can get to it without having to remove the diesel tank. This is the diesel tank that you're looking at right here. How's it going back there? With a lot of effort in contorting our bodies in weird ways, we got the stern chain plate off. Again, you might notice these episodes are a little out of chronological order. It made sense to us at the time to air them like this, but going forward in the future, we're going to do our best to air them in chronological order as close to real time as possible. Next up was getting to the bow chain plate. For both the bow and stern chain plates, Randy held the inside nut with a wrench while I turned the bolt from the outside with a ratchet. This is our chain plate. Well, the chain plate's on the other side. This is the back of the chain plate, but they're mounted here, and we got all these un undone. So we're gonna undo the. We're gonna pull the chain plate now from up through the deck. There's the chain plate. Should be free and clear to. Uh, yeah, it can move. Should be able to be pulled out now. The port and starboard chain plates were easier to access and therefore easy to remove. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, we should spin it from that side. All right, I got it. We duct taped the holes in our bow and stern and life cocked the holes from the port and starboard chain plates in our deck to keep out the rain and while well, we still had the mast down and the chain plates out. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I wanted to show you the aftermath of the chain plate work. I'm out here, gonna clean all this up. So I got everything tidied up a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys something over here. So this is, this is the part of the bulkhead. This is the part of the port bulkhead where the chain plate attaches. Now it attaches on the other side, but I have these reinforcements and these are solid teak. Um, these reinforcements go right here. This one goes on that side and there's a backing plate that goes right here. And then this reinforcement here actually attaches to the opposite side on the other side over there like that. So that these, you know, that's a good two, you know, inch and a half thick. That's a good two inches thick right there. So it basically becomes three, four inches 
thick, well, plus this, so it's about four inches of wood that's being held onto here, and it's really reinforced, and it's a pretty good design as long as it's not rotted out, and none of it looks pretty rotted out, but the thing is, I don't know if, I don't know if these reinforcements were put here by O'Day or by a previous owner, but I like this right here, and on the other side, the starboard side, it has the same type of reinforcement on the front side like that but on the rear on the back side I'll show you so that was just a back your uh, backing plate that was direct tied that was put directly into the bulkhead so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the starboard side match the port side and make one of these for the starboard side over there and I just need to find some teak so I can so I can make one of these. And uh, what I what I'll have to do is I'll have to cut a hole in the hanging locker right here so that it'll go all the way through. But other than that, there's not much modification, not much else modification I need to do. So everything's pretty good. I think these. I'm not sure if these are if these bulkheads are teak or or plywood. I'm not 100 percent sure. Got my chain plates off the boat, got the little teak piece I'm going to be replicating, and now the next step is just to find a machine shop to make it all. So I'm going to make the teak, I'm going to do this myself, but other than that, I can't do metal work, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to leave that to the professionals. What's up guys, so I'm at Seco South here in St. Petersburg, Florida, and there's going to be a link to in, in the description uh, to where I'm at, and there's also going to be a link at the end of the video uh, if you're interested, but they are the rigging shop that has supplied my standing rigging, and we're fortunate enough for them to actually sponsor us, so we're very grateful for that, and I am here with Kenny, and he's going to be giving me a tour of the behind the scenes of the swaging process and some of the CNC st stuff that they do here. Uh, they can do a lot of stuff for custom made parts for sailboats. So it's definitely something that I'm very interested in. I kind of want to walk you guys through and just show you some of the process. So we'll see if we can't get to swage some stuff too. Hey Jordan, this is Ken with Seco South. Uh, glad you had an opportunity to come by here and take a look at our facility. Uh, and we'll start doing a little walkthrough and uh, show you some of the processes for uh, marine hardware that we provide for the industry. Seco South has the capability to do just about anything metalwork on a sailboat. Alright, Jordan, so the main reason we're here today is reproduction of your, your rigging. So here's all your old rigging. Here are the specs we created from off of your old rigging. And then we reproduced your rigging with all new product. They showed me some of their many swagers and I got to see a rotary swage in process. And that clapping noise you're hearing is nothing but the cams rolling across the rollers driving the dies in to a specific shape and it rolls around the fit.
Hey guys, it's just me today because Randy's at work, but we don't have a video preview for next week because we're all caught up in our videos now. So we're excited to say that we've kind of been wanting to basically get to the point where we're filming during the week and weekend and uploading that very next Tuesday. So that's really where we're at right now. We haven't put the mast up yet. It's going up this weekend and you'll see that video next week. So again, we're really excited to say that. Also, we wanted to thank Seco South for supplying our standing rigging. It's really good quality stuff, guys. And as you can see, they have the capabilities to do pretty much anything on a sailboat. So if you're interested, their link is going to be in the description below and also on our sponsors page. We also uh, wanted to thank our first two patrons, actually. Our Patreon page has only been up for a week now. We already have two total strangers that we you know don't know that are supporting us in our dreams so it's really awesome it's really cool uh we're you know we're very very grateful for it and again if you haven't checked out our patreon page uh please do so uh just a dollar an episode would really would really help us a lot and also if you like this video give it a thumbs up that helps a lot too and obviously be a subscriber you know if you haven't already so you know click the subscribe button so again thank you so much thank you everyone for the support that we've received so uh, you know so far um, really our sponsors, our patrons now, and our, our subscribers. It's just, it's really been a fun, a fun thing so far. So again, thanks, thanks everyone. And we'll see you next week and you can see our mask going back up.